this week the card flows um, follows through with the, the energy forecast where it seems that we may be struggling with that feeling of conflict or defeat. Um, it's kind of that the blissful versus the end of the world kind of feeling we've all been battling with. Um, but our center shows us that we must take authority of our lives as we rejoice in celebration to promote magical happenings. Um, these magical happenings is perceived also through the, the number three, which is um, on the, the rejoice and celebration card, and also the fact that our spread is five, four, three. It seems to be in a oh, countdown wow. pattern. Nice. Yeah, so it's like counting down for us to the, to the celebration. Awesome. Yeah, I know. I was pretty excited about that. Um, and that's just that's how they pulled in... It, it seemed to just go right along with it. We're counting down to celebration time. Um, down the days, the hours, and the minutes until we're all full and able to grow as one and just get our dreams out there. And Though it's approaching even quicker, um, as we all realize that it's time is more of an illusion and we can accomplish so many more things in a day than we thought was possible before. And we're just evolving faster and faster in our daily rules. Like once you stop telling yourself, "Oh, I can, I can do that tomorrow," um, it, you just start to accomplish so much more in your day. Um, the authority card also is here to to represent leadership, logic, and strength. And when this card emerges, it, it's acting as a teaching tool, and it's it's here to help encourage us if you haven't already to take authority of your life. And other traits also include good reasoning and problem solving skills, and just to remember to stay grounded. Now is when we all must act as leaders and not only act as leaders, but work together as leaders and exert our strength as one by working together and incorporating form and structure into ideas and plans and foundations. It takes more than one person's ideas, even leaders, to create a full picture event. And we learned a lot about that today in our, our podcast with Talk on Elise of Appalachian Gem Witch. Like, it's, it's really a teamwork effort, and it's time to stop talking and act in order to achieve what you must get done. It, the talk is really cheap, guys. You gotta, you gotta put the work in, and we're doing it. All the hard work is really rewarded, and the celebration is coming. Um, and rejoice in that. Be with your friends, your tribe, your family, and it's, it's almost springtime. Festivals are beginning, and family gatherings, and just all those events that enjoy the, the pretty weather and the different, just the different time of year. It's not even depending on where you are. The weather might not change, but it's just the, the energy of that time of year. And it's particularly upon us. And if we allow faith to carry us, the celebration of things to come is going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. But that's that's all I have for this week's card reading. And 